Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review, this time from DTAC. Now this here is their D1. Now they contacted me via email, they wanted me to test and review this light. Now they are a new company, so they wanted a little bit more exposure to the flashlight community. So. kind of giving you some information on how to use the light of course so let's wait no further let's open this up see what's in now when they sent this to me you know a lot of lights that come to me uh, especially new ones kind of have a momentary hesitation because you just don't know what it is but when I took it out of the box and saw that these here were very nice quality lights definitely going to be featured on my channel so here's the user manual pretty straightforward on how to use the light multi-language so we do have a specs sheet here but as you can see there thousand lumens on the highest output now if you need more time to read that go ahead and pause the screen otherwise we're going to move along one USB type C charging cable a lanyard and two o-rings now let's go ahead and take a look at the light Now these molded plastic containers are not a big fan of these. Sometimes they'll cause blemishes depending on how they ship it to you. So I looked this over, it didn't have any blemishes, so got lucky. And there it is. Nice size on the light. Now this does have some areas here on the head of the light. Keep it from rolling. There's the power and mode switch here. This is a battery level indicator there. You can table stand that if you need. Now this is really a smooth surface, no knurling here. This all goes in this direction, so if you do wear gloves and you're in a wet climate, that could be a, a problem for you. Not seeing it a problem for any other situation. Pretty straightforward design. The body and style of the light is nice. Not seeing any issues kind of thinner here and a little bit wider at the head that to me is ideal and these are extremely budget friendly and it's nice to see manufacturers coming out now sometimes they use a similar host or they use a design from another popular company so it's not unusual to see that when they first start out and then they start designing more and more of their own style of lights. And the machining and finish feels good on this. Not seeing any issues or problems at all. The button is pretty flush with the body almost. But it is rubber. 
Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the deep smooth reflector. Now this is running the OSRAM P8 LED. Pretty deep down in there. Now this is a complete kit, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up and I'm going to show you the battery that it comes with. Tail spring, heavy duty, well greased threads. You do have a protection piece here that you do want to remove. And the included battery is an 18650. 2600 milliamp. This is a 10 amp cell. This is a protected cell. So definitely something that you want to increase your run times. You can use a bigger milliamp cell. So it has a lot of value to an already very affordable light. Nice to see that. Now that I've shown you the battery I'm going to go ahead and show you how you'll go ahead and charge the light. And all you do is simply untwist the head here to reveal the charging port there. And remember it's type C. Definitely nice to have that. You're not worried about a microbe where you put it in the wrong way, possibly damaging. This will go in either way. I think that's why this is really taken off to be more popular and it's hidden away quite well and I like that so it's watertight all right let's go ahead and go through the UI now turn on the light as you see the battery level there we're good so now all you got to do now is just half press now it just takes a light touch on the power switch here to go through those light outputs you got three I'm going to go ahead and take a look here at the beam it does have a centralized hotspot there a lot of bleeding here all the way around pretty good cut off there to the spill area so it's probably going to have some pretty good throw these OSRAM LEDs are really impressive on their own and I notice they don't heat up as much as your Cree LEDs so now you want to get to the special mode there's an area right here above this simply gonna click on that we'll get strobe and that is a constant rate on the flash Click it one more time, goes back to the last light output that you had it on. So if you do want to have it on this light level, turn it off, turn it back on. It does have memory mode, so that's another nice feature, especially for the price that you're going to pay on this light. A lot of light coming out of that. And that's all there is to this light. Pretty straightforward on the UI, which is nice. And it definitely feels like good quality. Got a nice feel to it. Definitely rugged enough for most people. All right, well, let's wait no further. Let's take this D1 out, see how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the DTAC D1. Let's go ahead and get started, see how it does. Water spout there. 35 feet from where I'm standing. Easily making it across the park there, as you can see. This beam is in. very impressed with it earlier. Second parkway out there, 
tree line, fence line, nice tight beam. Spill area is wide enough for most applications. Making those trees out there. 238 feet to that tree there. And the famous tree of life, 138 feet. Now I list all my distances in a link below my video. Not making it to those palm trees. If it is, it's very faint. Let's go down to the next level. There's the next level down. Still making that tree of life. And I was running it at the highest output, and it barely got warm out here, on the light, that is. And uh, that's nice. Put a good quality battery in it. You're going to see even more run times if you get a larger cell milliamp, that is. Now we're down to the next level. Impressive performance, especially for the price point. And now we're back to the highest. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Impressive beam performance on this. Osram P8 definitely lives up to its reputation. Combination beam on this is impressive. Has a lot of range to it. Uh, spill area uh, is wide enough for most applications. And a thousand lumens is plenty bright. I really like the fact that this hides the USB port, allowing for less chance of water to get in there if you're out in the rain doing your thing. You don't have to worry about a rubber port cover there that's not on there all the way. You don't see it come off or you accidentally hit it and it allows that water in there. You're going to have some issues. Now the battery is good. I'm not seeing any issues with the run times. Uh, this thing here did not get hot at all. It just gets very lukewarm on the head at a thousand lumens. So I think it's going to run perfectly fine. If it does step down, it's probably going to be due to a hotter climate. But uh, out there is pretty cool tonight, so I didn't see that um, in my testing out there. So for it being budget friendly, this is my very first review of DTAC. So this is impressive. This is something definitely nice to get your lights out there and then start doing something of your own at a later point. Well, I want to thank DTAC for sending me this D1 to review. Now, if this is something you're interested in getting, I will leave a link down in the description where you can get this. I am also working on a special discount code to help you save even more on this. If I do get it, it'll be there as well, just in case you're interested in getting this. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these budget-friendly DTAC lights to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.